Hey guys, HX22 here. Um, I got a little impatient and jumped the uh, prearranged time frame on pulling that A5 out of the dip. So we only got four hours ish, maybe five. Doing the electrolysis didn't make it to the six to twelve that I planned on. But um, yeah, as you can see, she's come a long way real fast. Um, pretty decent condition. You can see the, uh, or maybe you can't, it's hard to tell in this light, but the pitting on that tube that goes down inside the stock is the heaviest of the gun. Um, we kind of knew that was going to be the case from looking at it earlier, but you know, it really is cleaning up nice. Um, yeah, you can make out all the fancy schmancy engraving that this one had. It's uh, a little bit different than my Remington 11s. It'd be kind of nice to do a side-by-side -side on them here at some point. Um, yeah, and you can see the greasy fingerprint marks. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think the pitting's a little bit too deep to really, you know, polish in blue. Just a... I mean, it could be done, but you'd lose a little bit of the definition in the engraving. I don't really think it's worth it. I think I think just uh, cleaning it up, getting the last of the pitting off, and then, you know, maybe blasting park or something. I'm a big fan of parkerizing. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't look exactly right on a, on a Whippet gun. That's usually blued steel and wood, but this one... Uh, this one might be a little bit too pitted to, to blue. Also, blue is a hell of a lot more work. So, there's that as a consideration. I uh, haven't gotten to the internals yet. Um, as you can see, as, as clean as it gets with the exterior, the inter interior is still total crap. Uh, if you don't get it apart, I mean, we could probably run this like it is, but it wouldn't be right. It's got to come apart. Got to do the internal comp components one at a time. Clean them up. Um, yeah, these are brilliant designs. Got to get in there with a with a little bit of mechanical action and break it up a little more. The uh, there's still some critical inter interference surfaces that really don't need to be uh... wow I didn't realize that the bottom part of that bolt was uh, curved it's pretty pretty ingenious right there anyway not to get too sidetracked I'm, I'm a huge John Moses Browning fan so I could stare at this thing and you know just drool pretty much forever but I'll spare you that I'll, I'll I just keep finding new little things every time I look at it. So I'll uh, I'll keep doing the electrolysis on this. It's got a couple more rounds before it's going to be clean. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to see about getting those screwdrivers on order. Uh, don't know where I'm going to find those, but uh, yeah, when I do, we'll get them. All right, just uh, wanted to share. Making progress. All right, have a good one.